Well, here it is, August 13th. And I've got another water bottle base. This is the, the fourth one that I've put together. The difference on this one is the base plate has differ, is different now. You see, it's a longer one and it's a larger, it's a thicker gauge of metal. It acts with the top. It you know, starts down here, goes through a little bolt. The bolt is uh, probably only, uh, could be a quarter, maybe it's a little bit less. Actually, it's a uh, sheet metal screw with a fender washer going on to the edge of this plate here because that's where it happened to fit. And this curves over to the uh, piece of wood. And you can see it goes over the bridge. Let's see, there's the bridge. And you can see a couple, a clamp. This is a D clamp that's holding on. And I ended up filing the, uh, the top of the D clamp because it wouldn't fit underneath the strings very well. It was a little bit too tall, the diameter of that D clamp. So I had to file the top and the bottom of that so to make it fit. Underneath that sheet of metal that goes down is a thick piece of uh, steel. It's about a quarter inch thick. Kind of a square that fits right in there. Just to add more height as well as uh, transfer some of the energy from the bridge. This is the same set of strings I've used before. These are half rounds. Probably a Smith half rounds. Intonation is not quite right yet, and there's no way to adjust it while it's in the bottle, as you can see here, but uh, it's close. As long as you play in one general area of the neck, it's probably all right. Still got the aluminum. See this aluminum L bracket right here? I've cut off the corner a little bit, so it's a little, it's not as sharp. Anyway, I don't have a clamp holding this piece on right here. I've got a uh, stainless steel band. It's not tight. It really should be tight. And I probably should use another D-clamp like I've done down here. Put a D-clamp, but put it up here. Because the plastic is grabbing, uh, in other words, the board. It's on one side of this plastic, and the aluminum is on the other side. And it should be clamped a little tighter, but I haven't clamped it down. I'll go ahead and play it right now. See how it compares. I think it's tuned up. Turn on the tuner, I think that's the G. That's the G, here's the D, there's the A, of course the E. So well that is. Alright, let's give it a shot. See it's a fender precision neck, P bass. Alright, let's give this baby a try. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Hear a little bit of roaring or rattling going on in here. Maybe it's because uh, there's no clamp in this area right now. Some rattling or buzzing going on. The action's better on this particular bass than on the previous ones. I mean, it might be, it's probably less than a quarter inch now on the uh, G string and definitely on the E. The action's pretty good on it. Could be a little better, but uh, at least as far as with the neck, it doesn't matter as much over here, that's for sure. So we're just playing it. Eventually we'll add some precision pickups to uh, to it. Maybe even put some flat flat string strings on it. I have some flat wound uh, strings. Maybe I'll put that on next. Still a little bit of a problem because uh, it feels different than a regular bass. It's further away from your body. It's a little hard for the hand to get used to playing up here. We'll give it another try here. Let's see.
a little bit of Midnight Train, I think is what this song is. I wonder if maybe this one isn't quite as loud. Now maybe it's because I don't have a clamp on this area yet, or uh, what the deal is. See, the finger, uh, this handle gets in the way a little bit. Water bottle handle of the G-string. See how this go. Lots of vibration going on there. Gotta fix that vibration. Yeah, that's a little cleaner. There's the open E. Okay, maybe that's enough of a sound check there. This is the, uh, well, I forgot what kind of wood it is. I'm tired. This kind of wood is uh, oak. It's an oak. Starts right there at the neck and goes down to the end piece there. Yeah, I've got some other bottles. See the sound holes right here. Whoa, hit the lamp. Hit the, hit the head of that base there. This is where I put my hand in, in the sound hole. I put my sound, my hand in the sound hole to uh, get access to the parts that are in here, like this D-clamp and the nut, and screws, and all this stuff. That's how you get access. And I kind of think that uh, maybe not, this sound hole is not even necessary because there's not a lot of sound coming out of it. The main part of the sound is just the vibration of the whole body. And whether you have a sound hole or you don't, uh, I don't think it makes a lot of difference. As long as the neck and the body and the bridge is in contact with the bottle in a couple places, it's creating the uh, vibrations. Let me lift it up and hit the, uh, hit the D string. Now I'll put it on my body and my leg. Does that make much difference in sound qual or sound uh, volume? A little bit. It's a little bit louder without it touching my uh, leg and stomach there.
higher pitched. Hard to play this uh, huge body here, and it keeps wanting to rotate. Also, because it's it's heavy along this plane, and as you kind of lean or give it a little uh, little nudge or just hold it in different position, it'll, it'll have a tendency to roll. I'll give it in this perspective. See, it has a tendency to roll, roll off on your leg. See my knees down here. Knees holding it up. It wants to roll. Maybe I could put it. Put it down here, let's, whoa, there goes the camera. And we're back in action. Where'd we go? See, what I could do is uh, put on my legs like this, I suppose, but then, you know, my hand is way up in the air. What the heck? There's a sound hole, though, pointing right at the camera. Yeah, that's about the end of the story on this one, I guess. I yeah, will put some flat wound strings on it, maybe add a clamp down here, bring in some more uh, volume. Yeah, I don't think the volume's there if you don't have a clamp. Maybe you need an extra clamp. Alright, that's enough for that one.